Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with a quick assembly tutorial, just a general assembly for any of my uh, three layer um, style pop-ups. So the base in the back is going to get folded towards the front and I have all my pieces pre-cut and ready to go. Uh, I can't see the score lines very well on textured cardstock so because my eyes are getting old so I find it's a lot easier um, to use a straight edge. I just grabbed my Cricut uh, scraper tool because it was handy but you could use an old credit card, uh, a ruler, anything you have that will help guide you and make sure that you're you're creasing the fold line in the right spot if you can't see it very well. <laughs> very helpful for old eyes. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to fold these score lines all inward. So valley fold, right? So we're going to val valley fold all of those and then everything else is going to get attached um, to that base. So this is the middle layer or the second layer of three layers and I'm going to fold these, get them going, and at first I crease them forward but then once I get them uh, you know, firmly creased there with my finger, I'll fold them towards the back. And this is just going to help eliminate bulk as you continue to assemble the pieces. I just like to, to minimize the bulk as much as possible. This is a decorative layer that's going to get mounted on top and I'm going to use the, the landscape part and the house as a guide for exactly where to layer this piece on. So I'm using a Barely Arts a Precision Craft Glue. You could use a tape runner if you prefer that, but one of the things I like about using this particular glue is it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So in case you don't land right exactly where you need it to, you can shift the paper around a little bit. So I'm going to anchor that piece there uh, with the flaps open and extended onto um, a Cricut Joy Mat because this really keeps the paper from scooching around on my work surface. It's easier for me to glue those layers together so they're not sliding all over the place. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the tree with a little bit of glue. And again, I'm just tacking that uh, down temporarily to that Cricut Joy Mat and get the glue on there. And then I'm using tweezers to pick that up and put it in place. I like using tweezers because I don't like getting stuff on my hands <laughs> and I can't see very well when I'm using, my fingers just get in the way. So I love using tweezers to assemble these kinds of things. And those are my favorite tweezers ever because of the angled tips. I'm going to go ahead and get the little ghost um, in his little spot there. And then that layer is pretty much um, all ready to go. It's assembled. Okay. I like to use a baby wipe there in a bowl to clean off um, any excess glue. I'm using the tip of my uh, tweezers there as a squeegee to get the glue that's squeezed out the edges. And <laughs> The, ba the baby wipe is in a bowl because I have a tendency to get glue on, or not glue, but um, water. Like I'll set my project down on top of a baby wipe without even realizing it until it's too late and my paper's gotten soaked from the baby wipe. So I got myself into the habit of using a bowl and tossing it in the bowl there so that I don't uh, damage my project while I'm working. <laughs> Something about getting hyper-focused and not paying attention <laughs> to what I'm doing. So now it's time to mount uh, this layer to the base and I'm going to open up that flap on the left of the middle layer and add some adhesive and you'll notice that I'm going to take the, f the larger flap or the side of my pink background piece there. I'm going to go ahead and fold that over on top and I'm going to smooth that down because I'm trying to get the glue to spread around. And I'm going to give it a minute to set up. Now, if you use a tape runner, unfortunately, you know, double-sided sticky tape is awesome. And it's super strong, but it also, like, once you put it down, it's hard to get that apart or move it if you need to. So I really like working with this glue. It comes with a vial um, that contains various nibs and caps um, for storage. And there's a pin in there for cleaning. It's just a great all-around uh, paper craft glue. I don't think I can ever go back to anything else now. It's great for getting tiny s spots or tiny pieces because that fine needle nose tip on it is just the bomb. I love it. So now that I've got this part uh, assembled, I'm going to collapse the card over towards the right and apply some more glue to that remaining flap there on the base and go ahead and get my front panel mounted on that. 
And like I said, you got to give it a minute to set up because if you move too fast, you're going to slide that thing around when you don't want to. Then I'll flip that over, collapse it over to the left, and then add some glue there um, to the right hand flap. And it's nice that you can flatten this down when you're gluing these together. So you can like put extreme pressure without smashing your card to bits. And then, um, of course, there's a moon, there's a bat. These are decorative pieces that you can add anywhere you see fit on the design. You just want to make sure that you don't go outside the, or, or too far outside the 5 by 7 um, envelope that you're going to put this card into. So I'm just going to anchor that down a bit. And then I'll take the ghost. And again, this ghost is a, kind of his own separate entity. can go anywhere you want on the card. And let's go ahead and flatten that down. I only put glue on the bottom of him. So that way. But it's nice because it gives him, you know, the detail for his eyes. And it gives him some extra support. I really love that these cards collapse down so flat. It makes them very mailable, postable, and uh, not a lot of bulk. So I love the fact that it's a reduced bulk. And then when the recipient gets it, all they have to do is just pop it to the left or pop it to the right. And they've got a freestanding pop-up card. Isn't that fun? You can find this file over in my digital shop at julieebersall.com. And I hope you find that helpful. Thanks for watching.